Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video, which has given me the opportunity to complete a video that I started way back in February 2023 on the Ashby Canal restoration. So here I am, heading up the Ashby Canal on August Bank Holiday 2023 uh, for the official opening of the stop lock there. This is Snearstone Tunnel, some way off from the terminus at 61A in the Winding Hole and Shop at Snearstone Terminus. So this is another video, as I've said, on the restoration project. I start up at Bosworth Road this time and go all the way to the other side of Misham, taking in the old railway track bed um, on the old Ashby and Nuneaton Railway. This is just a little bit of information about the old pump house up at the, uh, the stop lock and shop at Snearston and the buy a brick um, campaign um, to help restore some of the uh, existing bridges and um, construct new bridges. You can buy a brick for anything up to £100 or you can buy a blank one for just £10. We also see the shop here at um, Snearston and of course the Spout magazine which has opened an all plethora of information for me for my next video on the subject of the Ashby de la Zouche Canal restoration. This is the restored section of course between the stop block at 61A and Bridge 62. It takes in about 400 metres and along there you will find the 22 mile post also. So this video will take us up to Bosworth Road which is some three quarters of a mile away from the bridge. I have several other videos on the subject at Moira, at Moira Furnace, at Overseal, at the extreme end. So thank you very much for taking the time to, to watch this video. There are some unique markers along the way. If you check out some of the other videos you will see that. And I'm looking at this specific type of post as I go up the canal, as I further my knowledge of the Ashby de la Zouche Canal. Come along, I hope you enjoy it. I certainly did. So the clothes that I've got on are never really ideal. Obviously it's piqued my curiosity once again because I've got like half an hour of spare time. It, well, it's never spare, is it? But just, again, just following up on the Ashby Canal restoration and see what I can find today. Probably not a lot, but I'm going to try anyway. So this is useful. Took a bit of a diversion up and you can see there, look, the historical line of the Ashby Canal tells you what you can and can't do. It's pretty interesting. So you might be able to see a post in the distance on the video. That's where I was in the last video when I was tracing my Ashby de la Zouche restoration walk. Hoping that a vehicle is going to come by. You know, there's a lorry coming by to give you a perspective on where I was. And I'm just down here on a public footpath and there's just some telltale signs of that's an old coping stone lot there and a sign which suggests the canal path. I'm going to walk down there now and start my video from there basically, even though I've started it here. Right, so this is where I was in my last restoration video. Okay, there's the marker, there's the path. I'm gonna walk this path. I haven't got ideal shoes or boots on, <laughs> but I'm gonna walk it and see where I get to. I've popped my van up, um, so in Misham town itself. So I'm gonna walk back towards my vehicle to my best estimation on where the canal path is likely to go so as you can imagine you know you get a little bit excited don't you you've come to a place you wouldn't normally come i've never walked this way before in my life um and 
it's because I've got uh, more more than a um, an average curiosity of, of of what this is all about and why it was it was ever filled in in the first place. It just don't make sense, particularly when you, you see the money that's been poured into it so far. So one of my earlier vlogs is Moira, Moira Furness, the museum, some of it. I'm going to do another video on that sometime. And that's like all restored. But even that, the lock at the extreme end, even that looks dilapidated. So by the time they connect it all up, they'll be restoring that, I guess. So it looks like I've found something anyway. So Ashby Canal Pass. Ashby Canal, Snearston to Meesham, follow the arrows to the right to continue the canal walk from here to Meesham High Street. Be a horse lane, horses lane, beg your pardon. There will be a choice of route from here by spring 2023, which will follow the new canal line along the old railway. Well, that is very interesting. That's piqued my curiosity even more. And I'm guessing that there's some people that might watch this video that have, have read this already and have seen it. But that has really, that's really piqued my interest even more. It's good stuff. So I'm at the next gate from the marker. I just read that information. It just says, sheep in field, keep your dog on its lead. But there's nothing about the Ashby Canal. On, on the other gates in the other video, it says Ashby Canal Path imprinted on the gate, but it doesn't here. But um, I'm going to go down to the next one down there and then take a walk beyond that and maybe up to the high street. <laughs> maybe they ran out of paint when they were painting it on the fences. I don't know. <laughs> oh, only own that. Only, only I. And other construction workers watching this video will probably know why I'm laughing. <laughs> it is amazing, but with the very little time I've got, it's like little nuggets. I've walked a, a section from uh, Bridge 62, which is the end of the Ashby de la Zouche Canal, the unnavigable part between 61A, the, the new lock, and Bridge 62. Um, and then I've walked the bit from there to the start of this video and um, if I'd have just walked a bit further but I had no time I would have come across that sign in the last video so but it's all good stuff it's all positive and I'm enjoying it and it's great to get these little like little 30 to 45 minute insights because obviously it's on the way home so here's the next gate a turnstile gate another one again no information on it or it appears that there isn't steel on this time just an arrow Leicestershire County Council no information about the Ashby Canal a new residential area I'm gonna walk down there maybe that'll go to Regent Street got some temporary works here which you know ties in with the Ashby Canal uh, on the restoration where the other temporary works is and it's also got weighed on it as well the same as that this is where i'm going to walk now this is towards Meesham town uh, i've never walked along here before so it looks like a path for the town itself dog walkers quite a lot of new properties around here um, there is actually a big ditch a big dike through here see that whether that was part of the old canal it certainly looks like it could have been when you consider there's a culvert there perhaps that's new obviously part of the construction tying it all in um maybe it was maybe it wasn't just guessing but this is the best candidate for the canal straight through here there's nothing in the way or doesn't apparently seem to be anything in the way Maybe there's an offering of more information. We'll find out. You know, I was questioning why I do these videos. Um, a lot of people do vlog, you know, probably overstate their own importance. But then I thought, hang on, there are people that can't actually visit these places. 
and might be interested in the Ashby Canal or in something to do with restoration projects or just curious. I'm almost at the top anyway. It'd be interesting to see where the canal does go because it's rather built up here. Okay, another sign. The pass here going straight on and obviously where I've come from here. Um, and again, more information. Um, it is a five minute walk from here to Misham High Street, continuing a straight line for a couple of a hundred yards, bear right, past Buckley Close, and turn left down Navigation Street to get to the High Street. Spoke with a local, seemed very nice. Said, yeah, it's supposed to be happening. But not sure when. But where would the canal go here? So I'm on Navigation Street. Here I go. So I'm on the High Street in Sneerston. The building looks very interesting. And obviously the bridge um, there on the rise is filled in. Maybe that's just like um, a partition filling. Who knows? But it uh, looks... Uh, like it could be something to do with the, the canal or, or, or indeed the way it's going to go. It's just no signage here. It seems to end, you know, back at that post. It's looking like that's some way it came through, but I don't see how they're going to put a canal through there. Drop them comments in and help me out. Well, um, it seems I'm going to walk a little bit further. I don't know why. I'm uh, going over my time, or at least the time I had to spare. But at least it's still daylight. I'm just guessing now. I mean, it seems rather built up from where I've just walked. But I'm just going to have a look down here, see if I can pick anything up. I'm going to drop a pin in the map where I finish and try and sort of drive a bit further down what I think might be the route. It can't be through it because there's ours in through here. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to have a look around this corner. Um, I'm going to get get myself gone. So that's the wall I've just visited that's partitioned in or reinforced for the road, for the bridge, for the road above. I don't know, I'm just guessing. There's a marker there with nothing on it, so there you have it. Signs of water with a robin bathing itself in the February evening sunshine. Some sort of marker here, I'm going to just check that out and then I'm uh, I definitely I'm going to knock it on the head. It's just a deep drain, that's all it is. Some bricks over here, I'm going to go and check out. There's a football match or some rugby going on down there, part of school event so it looks like I might be on council property so I better be careful a lot of bricks there gathered up suggest something I'm going to drop the pin here I'm going to walk back now so <sighs> thanks for indulging me once again um, might be a complete waste of time this walk but I'm glad I've done it uh, some part of the, uh, the curiosity um, fulfilled so yeah and such remarkable weather for a, a Thursday evening in February. It was at this point that I realised what was going off. They're going to use the old track bed. There's no way it could go through Misham itself. That boat has floated, as they say. So I'm saying nothing. Yes, I continued on walking because I saw this ice boat and I'm at Railway Terrace and they said that the Ashby Canal would follow the old railway track bed so so this is Misha Museum and that looks like an old shunting shed in the distance and then there's the ice boat looks like I'm gonna to have to come visit here in the uh, the coming weeks and months ahead um, a little bit of information about the museum for those of you that might be interested I know I am Given the moss build up on the walkways, there are lights on the inside, so 
a couple of vehicles out here but I don't like it's frequented very regularly but the building's in excellent condition and looking like along there that's the old track bed it's got to be what an instinct for these things to work on the bloody railway <laughs> yep well surprise surprise i'm glad i hung on a little bit more so the Ashby Canal path through along the old railway line is not currently available. It will be completed in spring 2023. Can't see that. The canal path can be followed from Meesham High Street down Navigation Street, turn left down Pegs Close, taking the road around to the left along Horses Lane, then follow the black and white arrow signs and post to Sneerston. Basically, the, is, that's the way back that I've already walked. But at least I found something else before I went. So as part of the Millennium Project, this has been designated a breathing space. This is an old railway track bed. And there's the, uh, <clears throat> the old goods shed just down there. motorcycle funerals so that's where it got turned into look at that it's absolutely beautiful wow well i meant to say that i was going to be um half an hour it's turned into nearly an hour but i've seen another sign oh, it's like breadcrumbs i can't stop looks like the canal is going to come this way definitely going to come this way so from motorcycle funerals and Misha Museum just down there there's another sign so the Ashby Canal Misham to Sneerston the path to Sneerston via the old railway line is not currently available it is hoped to be open this route in the spring of 2023 the route can be uh, joined by turning off the I Street down Navigation Street turn right at the end of, and bear left along Orses Lane to continue along the route marked by the black and white post which is basically just the same as the one on the other side that I've just seen by the uh, motorcycle funeral shed which used to be an old uh, rail shed you know what I'm glad I did that little bit of an extra walk look at this imagine bringing your boat under this it used to be an old railway it's like the canals are reclaiming the railway as opposed to the railway claiming the canals wow uh, structurally sound absolutely no stitching re required nothing anywhere i can't see anything it looks perfect well i'm glad i found that imagine in the future <sighs> Probably not won't even be in my lifetime, even though they're saying spring 2023. That sign, the nails in it are a bit rusty. <sighs> Sign's been up there for more than one winter. Imagine coming under there on your boat in the future, you younger people maybe. I mean, I'm nearly 60, maybe in 20 years when I might be alive still and I'm 80. <sighs> Will I be able to steer the boat still? I don't know, but just imagine coming through here on a boat that was a railway like i said it's like it's like the railway uh, beg your pardon the canals are reclaiming the railway that's incredible wow you could appreciate both steam coming through here and then eventually electric boats not that we want electric boats. I think the world's going a bit over the top with that sort of stuff. But fascinating all the same. So glad I came down here now. So this is going to be a future walk, a railway walk. But I'm going to put it on my uh, thoughts on narrowboating channel. Obviously, being a more than a keen enthusiast in both rail and infrastructure. So, that's 
me done. I'm up to the old station house in Misham, which is now the museum. This is the Ashby Wolds Heritage Trail, which goes that way. Wow, this has gone on a bit longer than I thought it would, but it's uh, been very enlightening for me. So I'm going to leave you with this. <laughs> so I got a bunch of paraphernalia from the, uh, the shop um, at the terminus. I'm going to become a member and I'm also going to buy a brick. Um, I had a discussion about the aqueduct uh, that's going to be installed at Meesham Station um, that will tie into the old platform too and go over the road there. Wow. The, the, and I did ask the question, um, you know, because earlier I thought the conversation was a little bit pessimistic. Uh, oh, you got 20 million quid? You know, well, no, I haven't. But um, with the amount of money that's squandered on infrastructure projects, I'm surprised there isn't 20 million quid just lying around somewhere particularly when there's something like 600 billion quid lying around for infrastructure projects for everything else that incorporates those those horrible dare i say it pre-cash units that we use to build a lot of things these days um brick slips can make things look good um and that's what basically those are those bricks up there they're like fascia bricks like brick slips and uh, they're quite nice they've got people's names on them and stuff you you've, you'll see that in the video but I've got this, so I've traced the canal path myself, but now, now that I know I was right and I followed the markers, I was kind of out a little bit, but you can walk the whole route now, no problem, all the way up to Moira, which isn't isn't quite far according to Alan, who, who runs the shop up there, and obviously I'm going to join the uh, Ashby Canal Association. Why? Hey, if you like what I'm doing here, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you were to do this with your favourite narrowboating channel, I'm sure that they would appreciate it just as much as your favourite YouTube channel. And if you were to leave me a like and perhaps even consider subscribing to my channel, this would really help the channel grow. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been quite a long time in coming. Editing it together was quite a feat. It takes up a lot of my time. But as I've said in previous videos, this is something I really enjoy doing. Well, thank you very much for coming along for the ride. Really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all again in my next video. Take care.